Good evening. I'm Jarita Postalwaite, Superintendent of Charleston County Schools, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to this graduation celebration for the class of 2020. As you know, this virtual ceremony is just the first way graduates will be recognized. Your school has planned face-to-face -face diploma awarding ceremonies for you in the coming days. Today, I want to acknowledge up front that we'd all rather be together, just as we would have preferred to spend the last two months going to class, participating in or attending school activities, going to the prom, just enjoying the normal school during the final weeks of your journey that began many years ago in elementary school and brought you to this point. However, the pandemic has forced all of us to rethink everything that we previously knew as normal. One thing that has not changed is your remarkable accomplishments. We gather today to recognize the relationships that you have formed, to honor your achievements, your memories, and your hard work. So I offer to each of you my personal congratulations you've achieved this milestone event of graduation. We will celebrate you virtually today and look forward to seeing you in person to offer you our best wishes as you enter the world as the remarkable class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the graduation of the R.B. Stahl High School class of 2020. Would you please join me for the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance followed by the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And now for our national anthem performed by Arbisol High School senior Hannah Parrish. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bomb bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that song Spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Welcome, class of 2020, and welcome also to all of our parents grandparents, siblings, family members, friends, teachers, and distinguished guests that are joining us for this virtual ceremony this evening. It's my honor to welcome you to, the, on behalf of the Arbistall High School faculty, staff, and students to this very memorable 56th Arbistall High School commencement. There are many individuals who are critical to the success of our school, but none more than our Charleston County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Jarita Postlewaite. Thank you for your welcome this evening and the consistent leadership and continued drive to see a world-class education delivered to every child across Charleston County. I would also like to acknowledge other vital members of the Charleston County leadership team. Mr. Jeff Barrowi, our Chief Operating Officer. Mr. Don Kennedy, Chief Financial and Administrative Officer. Ms. Carolyn Belcher, Chief Academic Officer. Ms. Erica Taylor, our Chief of Staff. And Mr. Bill Brigman, Chief Human Resources Officer. Thank you for the role you play in supporting our students. I would also like to thank the entire Charleston County School Board for their dedication to the students of Charleston County, with specific thanks to our board chair, Reverend Dr. Eric Mack, as well as our District 4 representative members, Ms. Cindy Bon Coates, Reverend Chris Collins, and Mr. Kevin Hollinshed. 
I would also like to recognize our District 4 constituent board members who work numerous hours for our students. Chairperson, Mr. Michael Garnett. Vice Chairperson, Ms. Andrea Erb Bailey. Ms. Carla Gadsden. Ms. Layla Fial. Ms. Lorena Jordan. Ms. Erica Smith. And Ms. Jana Wilson. We appreciate all the leadership and dedicated service you provide to our students and this community. At this time, I would like to introduce some of the members of our school leadership team. Our assistant principals are Ms. Brittany Cummings, Mr. Ernest Houston, Dr. Carell Lenhart, Ms. Claudia Newburn, Mr. John O'Connell, and Ms. Virginia Sayer. Thank you for the dedication you show to our school and the role you play in seeing our students succeed. Arby Stahl High School is extremely lucky to have school leaders as passionate and dedicated as this team. A great school must have outstanding teachers and a strong support staff. The quality of our faculty and staff is one of Arby Stahl's greatest strengths. Our students are blessed by their consistent passion to see every child succeed. This takes tremendous amount of effort and differs for every child, but it's that passion and drive that sets the Arby Stahl High School faculty apart. I want to take this moment to acknowledge the Arby Stahl faculty and staff as the backbone of our school and the driving force cultivating success in so many of our graduates. Thank you. I want to take a moment to give special recognition to several of our faculty members. At this time, I'd like to recognize Ms. Dina Thomas as Arby Stahl High School's 2020 Rookie Teacher of the Year. Ms. Thomas began her career in supporting one of our special needs classrooms and this year transitioned into a teacher in our autism classroom. Her love and passion for working with students is evident and she quickly earned the respect of her colleagues. We are excited to see her grow and continue to positively impact students of Stahl High School. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Dina Thomas. We will have the opportunity to hear from Ms. Thomas later in the ceremony as she introduces our salutatorian. I would now like to recognize our 2019-2020 Teacher of the Year, Mr. John Huber McNeely. Being selected as the Teacher of the Year carries distinct privilege because you're selected by your colleagues as an example of everything that makes an educator great. Mr. Huber McNeely is a phenomenal teacher in our social studies department. His ability to teach with a consistently high level of rigor provides every student the opportunity to far exceed expectations. This talent is valued by students and teachers alike. Not only are his students appreciative of the quality of education they receive, his colleagues frequent his classroom to observe his style and technique as well. I would also like to mention Mr. Huber McNeely's passion for preparing and mentoring students through the challenging transition into higher education. The College Access Program, founded by Mr. Huber McNeely, is graduating its first cohort today, and their outcomes are wonderful. The work of Mr. Huber McNeely, along with his teacher mentors, assisted many of today's graduates in realizing the opportunity to further their education in college. Please congratulate Mr. John Huber McNeely. We'll have the opportunity to hear from him as he introduces our valedictorian later in the ceremony. The last teacher I'd like to specifically recognize is one of our retirees, Master Sergeant Gail Ricker. She has served Arby Stahl High School for 20 years as an Air Force Junior ROTC instructor. Prior to her service to Stahl High School, she served 24 years in the United States Air Force, including being one of the first female flight engineers. Her career of developing responsibility, accountability, and leadership for so many of her students has impacted countless young people. As a faculty and community, we're extremely sad to see her retire, although we're happy for her reaching this milestone. Thank you, Master Sergeant Rickert. We'll hear from her later in the ceremony as well as she'll be announcing some of our awards. Now I want to acknowledge a group that had a greater impact than your teachers. They're sitting all around you or streaming this ceremony in their own house to support you. It's your parents, grandparents, family, and friends. For them, it's hard to believe that you have reached this moment. We want to thank you for everything you've done to support these graduates and help them to achieve the milestone they're accomplishing today. We know that more than most schools, it takes a village. Now I'd like to take a moment to speak personally to these candidates of graduation. Class of 2020, I want to thank you for providing the leadership that has propelled Arby Stahl High School into one of the best schools in the Low Country. We've seen tremendous growth in the several years that you guys have been attending Stahl High School. I've considered it a privilege to work with each of you. You were, the ninth grade, you were in your ninth grade year when I transitioned into, into the principalship. We have grown together for the past four years. Your activism and passion to improve your school experience began in your freshman year. Your influence has increased dances, socials, fun days that have all made Stahl a better place to be. A special thank you to Jessica Haynes and Nyla Wizard, our student council co-presidents, 
and the rest of our student council for their consistent persuasion and requests and support in seeing those changes come to life. Tribe was another exciting change. While you all experienced it for only one year, you left a positive impact and legacy that was passed to the underclassmen, and that will be felt for three years to come. I'm excited to participate in each of your graduations. While I don't want to linger on some of the experiences that you have regrettably missed this spring, we can safely say that we will never forget the class of 2020. You have yet one more instance that has proven your resilience. That is, when faced with a challenge, you not only survive, but you thrive. The COVID-19 crisis won't be the last challenge that you face. The resilience that you've shown to make it to this point only leaves you better prepared for your next challenge. I would like to acknowledge three distinguished groups of our graduates. These students have excelled academically amongst their peers. Each of these distinctions will be indicated on the student's graduate slide coming up in a later portion of the ceremony. The first group and most distinguished is our CCSD Board Scholars. The Charleston County Board of Education recognized students who achieve academic excellence, and these scholars will be receiving a certificate and a Board Scholar Medal. This certificate is awarded to a graduating senior finishing their high school career with an overall grade point average of 4.25 or higher, with no rounding up or down. We would like to congratulate these young people for their dedication in the pursuit of academic excellence. Our Palmetto Fellow Scholarship Program is a merit-based program established to recognize the most academically talented high school seniors in South Carolina and encourage them to attend state in-state college. To be eligible for the Palmetto Fellow Scholarship, a student must score a 1,200 on the SAT or a 27 on the ACT, graduate with at least a 3.5 GPA, and rank in the top 6% of their class at the end of their sophomore, junior, or senior years. Congratulations to the outstanding students who achieved this high standard. This year's Palmetto Fellow recipients are Anaya Bennett, Kenny Coronel, Christopher Gonzalez, Mario Mendoza, and Kyla Wright. Congratulations. The Life Scholarship is a merit-based scholarship program eligible to public independent institutions in South Carolina. To be eligible for the Life Scholarship, a student must meet two of the following criteria. Graduate from high school with at least a 3.0 GPA, rank in the top 30% of their graduating class, or score at least 1,100 on the SAT. Again, students earning each of these awards will be indicated on the graduation slide coming up later in the presentation. Students, while I'm most definitely proud of your academic achievements, what I'm most proud of is the quality of character that you have developed over your time at Arby Stahl High School. For those of you entering the military, you're demonstrating courage and sacrifice to put your country above yourself and your community, and we're proud of you. Those of you that are entering the workforce, in addition to a rigorous education, I know that you have demonstrated a strong work ethic while developing skills in collaboration and teamwork, which is what our employers are looking for. For our internships or job opportunities, we've witnessed you all consistently exceed employee expectations. A record 65 of our students will have completed an entire career technology education course of study above and beyond their graduation requirements set forth by the state of South Carolina. These students will also have this accomplishment noted in their graduation slide as CTE completers. Congratulations to those students. For those of you entering college, while developing a depth of knowledge to prepare you for higher education, I know that you simultaneously develop skills in self-direction, creativity, perseverance, and critical thinking. I'm confident wherever you find yourselves in the coming months and years, you will excel. You are the future leaders of our community, state, and our nation. Let me take this moment to tell you all that I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your effort. I'm proud that you believed in yourselves, and I'm proud of what you've achieved. Thank you, class of 2020. At this time, I'd like to welcome our 2020 Rookie Teacher of the Year, Ms. Dina Thomas. The salutatorian designation distinguishes the individual who has maintained the second highest overall grade point average over a four-year high school career. Our 2020 salutatorian's accomplishments include Vice President, Future Business Leaders of America, first place winner at FBA, FBLA state and regional competitions. He will also represent South Carolina at FBLA National Championship. Heritage Trust International recipient, member of the National Honor Society, Beta Club, and College Access Program, accepted to 10 colleges and awarded over $100,000 in scholarships. At the conclusion of the third quarter, our salutatorian had a GPA of 4.772.
on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Scale. In the fall, he will attend the College of Charleston's Honor College and study meteorology. He plans to pursue a doctorate at the University of Miami. Please join me in congratulating the 2020 R.B. Stahl High School salutatorian, Mr. Trey Hensley. Today I'm honored to have been selected to give this speech and I want to thank the people who have come into my life these four years, making such a positive impact and kept me pushing. Coronavirus has eliminated most of our traditional rewards for our senior year, but today I'm glad to celebrate our graduation as a class. Some of my fellow graduates have known me since elementary school. Friends come and go, but today I stand here thankful for those longtime friends. As we journey through those rough middle school and high school years, I have made friends who have impacted my life greatly. Growing up and adjusting to high school's reality challenges every student who must face their fears and the consequences of their actions. Some kids fight physically, others gossip. Some kids act out once or twice or simply shut down at school. As our behavior can trouble teachers, we want you all to know that sometimes students just struggle, needing a day or two. Students want you to pay attention. Everybody needs time to get their thoughts together and to relax for a day because everyone must take care of their own mental health. Here's one thing I will say, no matter if you've dealt with troubles through these past three months of quarantine, through these four years of high school, or through these 18 years of your life, today you graduate with the opportunity to change the rest of your life. I've met so many people with so many compelling stories with such diverse backgrounds, cultures, and communities. You just never know where somebody comes from or what kind of life they live or what they've endured. Often we don't appreciate how lucky we are to be exposed to the diversity Stahl High School has to offer. Understanding other students' lives and backgrounds taught me so much about what's right and wrong, and I don't think I would have received the same experience at a different high school. Regardless of the classes you have taken or your class rank or your GPA, today we succeed, today we graduate, we finish high school with endless opportunities to build on the education we have gained. Don't let anyone judge you based on your chosen job or field. Just remember people depend on you to become the person our society needs you to be. So forget that class drama knowing that someday you will go on an amazing vacation with your spouse and kids and realize that high school does not determine your success. Growing up for me was scary. I lived in a household controlled by the influence of drugs and alcohol. As a child, you don't understand this reality. This influence led to domestic violence towards my mother with that screaming, wall-banging violence, which as a kid traumatizes you with long-term effects. There is not a day that goes by where I don't jump when hearing someone hitting a wall or slamming a door. Very timid, I grew up with such emotional disconnection at home between my parents. However, the one person who kept me secure and safe was my mother. She was always there to make sure I was strong. She was always there to make sure that I knew she was strong, she was going to be okay, and she would never leave my side. Throughout middle and high school, my mother developed an alcohol addiction while my father began to pass away slowly due to health issues. While my father and I rekindled our relationship, my maternal relationship began to diminish. As a teenage boy, all you want is for your mom to be happy and healthy at all times. But because of her alcohol addiction, my mom experienced 14 seizures, which which was just as traumatizing as childhood. Resulting from his own health issues and battles with addiction, my father passed away my sophomore year, which only pushed me harder to ensure my future kids would never have to endure the childhood I did. I wanted to make sure I could project the best future for myself by working as hard as possible. My mother, who was fighting her issues, remains the strongest woman I know, and I know that my father proudly looks down on me as I give this speech. Throughout high school, I dealt with some tough hardships, and my family has helped me. I want to thank my grandparents for raising me as their own through high school, the Parrish family for being a second family when I just couldn't deal with home life anymore, and my cousin Crystal for always allowing me to stay, stay over if I needed to get away. I'm also incredibly grateful for all the teachers and administrators who have helped me and listened to me. Sometimes you just need an adult's advice. And for that, I thank Ms. Gable for having such a deep impact on my life as one of the best teachers I've ever had. I thank Mr. Solsky for showing me truly how to prepare for college level classes and for greatly influencing me to keep pushing harder. I thank Ms. Brown for exposing me to such a life-changing internships and many other extracurriculars, and I especially thank Ms. Larson for supporting me and for answering all of my concerns with college. Arbistow High School has allowed me to build lifetime relationships with, which will enhance my future career. We all have our own stories, but the best part about today is that we're a class of 2020 together. Each year at Arbistow, we recognize seniors by selecting them for the R.B. Stahl Hall of Fame Award. Faculty members make nominations based on the following criteria. The student must be a full-time student. 
have no disciplinary incidents, have demonstrated exceptional leadership, character, and service to the school, exemplify stature and integrity beyond reproach, far and above those of others within his or her senior class, and be held in high regard by the faculty. We have two recipients this year. These students have certainly demonstrated all the listed characteristics to an extremely high degree. They are leaders in every way and have been consistently doing it well for years. Their academic successes are clear, but they are both equally gifted service and leadership and all around excellent individuals. This year, our Hall of Fame recipients are Anaya Bennett and Nyla Wizard. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students. Likewise, the senior class honors one faculty or staff member with the Warrior Award. The award recognizes dedication and is the senior's means of thanking one person for his or her time and effort in service to the senior class. This year's recipient has served as our digital art and design teacher for the past four years and is graduating 25 students in our senior class that have completed her course of study. That is attributed to not only her skills, but her passion for her content area. She also used her innovative spirit to not only begin a yearbook program, but a nationally recognized, fully bilingual yearbook in her class's third ever yearbook. The senior class knows her as a senior sponsor and promoter of All Fane Stall. This year's Warrior Award voted by our senior class goes to Ms. Whitney Bumgardner. Hello again. As superintendent of schools, it's indeed an honor to recognize our outstanding class of 2020. Among those bright scholars are some individuals who've made a tremendous commitment to serve our country through the armed forces after graduation. I would like to take this time to acknowledge their willingness to serve by presenting each of them with a challenge coin. Challenge coins are a small medallion that's typically given out by a military leader in recognition of a special achievement. The use of such coins dates back to the First World War. In recognition of your pledge to protect and serve our country, we are awarding you with your first official challenge coin, which we will mail to all of you who have enlisted. On behalf of a proud and grateful community, thank you for your dedication and devotion to our country. Godspeed. In the quiet, misty morning, when the moon has gone to bed, when the sparrows stop their singing and the sky is clear and red, when the summer sees this gleaming, when the corn is past its prime, when adventure's lost its meaning, I'll be homeward bound in time. By me not to the pasture, Jamie not to the plow, set me free to find my calling, and I'll return to you somehow. If you find it's me you're missing, if you're hoping I'll return, to your thoughts I'll soon be listening, and the road I'll stop and turn. Then the wind will set me racing, as my journey nears its end. And the path I'll be retracing when I'm homeward bound again. Find me not to the pasture, 
Chain me not to the plow, set me free to find my calling, and I'll return to you somehow. In the quiet, misty morning, when the moon has gone to bed, when the sparrows stop their singing, I'll be homeward bound again. The valedictorian designation distinguishes the individual who has maintained the highest grade point average over a four-year high school career. This year's valedictorian has been active throughout her high school career. Her accomplishments include Vice President of the Student Council, member of the National Honor Society, debate program, and the College Access Program. She's the Reverend Pinckney Visionary and Scholar, the Secretary of Future Business Leaders of America, and a Heritage Trust Internship recipient. At the conclusion of the third quarter, our valedictorian had a cumulative GPA of 4.819 on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Scale. She will be attending the University of South Carolina, and she plans to major in biology and minor in psychology. Please join me in congratulating this extraordinary student, the 2020 Arby Stahl Valedictorian, Ms. Anaya Bennett. Welcome to the Arby Stahl High School 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Though we are not together physically, no matter where you are, I urge you to be present and to savor this moment. Before I take this trip down memory lane with you all, I want to first thank the phenomenal teachers here at Arbysaw High School. Not only do the graduates deserve praise, but you do as well. You did not just teach us, but you kept us safe, inspired us, and helped us on our journeys to becoming ourselves. So to the teachers who have become father figures, we thank you. To the teachers who write you the sweetest notes before AP exams, we thank you. To the teachers who have given us the best advice, motivational speeches, and watched us blossom, we thank you. To all the faculty and staff who have guided us, answered our numerous emails, and helped us obtain amazing opportunities, we thank you. And to our family and friends who have been there every step of the way, you do not go without praise. Without the love, support, encouragement, and acceptance that you all have given us, we would not be here. And for that, we all thank you as well. When I first realized that I might have to give this speech, I was terrified. Heart racing, I became adamant that I would not get up on stage in front of a crowd of people and speak. I never imagined that I would have to record myself giving it, but here I am. Knowing that I would have to address you, I began to try to think of the best words to share my four years here at Stahl with all of you. Suddenly, it dawned on me that I had been so caught up in anticipating the future that I had forgotten to appreciate the present. Once I recognized this truth, I immediately began to try to remedy it. Then the quarantine happened and our reality was shifted. We assumed we had all this time left to enjoy our friends where we would experience our last months of high school together. Suddenly, the opportunity was taken away from us. Forced into a world of uncertainty, we gave up the events we had spent four years envisioning. We lost the time we thought we had, and we lost the memories we aspired to make. Thus, to our underclassmen, I urge you to appreciate the moments and the people that surround you while you have them. Ready to graduate, I wanted to get to the moment where we'd be walking across the stage entering the real world. Somehow, without noticing, that day became today. Honestly preoccupied, I was so consumed with thinking about the future that I forgot to cherish the present and the people with whom I share these years. I forgot to connect with the faces of my present and savor the moments we experienced. And as I remember you, my classmates, I am astounded by how much beauty I see. My fellow graduates, I know that soon we will walk out of this auditorium facing a world of opportunities. We will leave the confines of Arbysaw High School fording our own paths. Life will become hectic and scary, but it will also be beautiful and healing. I urge all of you, as we begin to embark on this journey, to remember to stop, look around, and to breathe to take in the moment, good, bad, or in between, before it's gone, because you'll never be there again. 
In a college commencement address, actress Jessica Lange said to those graduates, I encourage you with all my heart just to be present. Be present and open to the moment that is unfolding before you, because ultimately your life is made up of moments, and I urge you all to do the same. As we walk into the unknown, there are going to be moments where the stress of living all becomes too much. However, you can and will endure. The, this moment is only our beginning. Here at Stahl, the class of 2020 built a special community. We walked into this school four years ago, so young, so naive, and so ready to leave. As the time passed, Stahl High School became so much more to us. In the famous words of Creed Bratton, human beings have this miraculous gift to make any place home. And we did. We created a home. We created a family. While I am sad to leave, I know you all will lead the most fulfilling and marvelous lives. And so until next time I see you, whether live or virtual, be present, live in the moment, and make sure your life is one to remember. Congratulations to the RB Saw High School Class of 2020. We did it. And for the last time, it's a great day to be a warrior. Thank you. I want to thank Anaya and Trey for their inspiring words to our fellow graduates. We've now reached part of the ceremony you've all been waiting for. The virtual graduation will begin and each graduate will have a slide displaying their name, picture, and their academic accomplishments. As is customary, our graduation order will be our valedictorian, salutatorian, president of the senior class, our CCSD board scholars, our military commitments, followed by the remainder of our class of 2020 alphabetically. Thank you. At this time, I present to you the Arby Stahl High School class of 2020.
With authority vested in me by the State Board of Education and the Charleston County School District, it is now my pleasure to certify your high school diplomas. You may turn your tassels. You are now graduates. Please join us for the singing of our alma mater by Arbistal High School senior Cynthia Rocha. The alma mater is printed on the back page of your program. Thank you all for joining us this evening. It is a great day to be a warrior. And congratulations to you, class of 2020. O oh, star the alma mater, to thee we sing our praise. Our greatness is our glory, our hopes to thee we raise. With valor and with courage we will lift our eyes. To thy majestic splendor our hopes will ever rise. 